Hi guys. Let me give you my quick little view here in La Jolla. I'm in a residential area of La Jolla where there is beach access down and around the corner. Here I am, let me see, um, let me switch it so you can see where I'm at. So like up on the hill, back over there, it's a gorgeous sunny day. There's like an insane mansion here. This, I love this house going on right here. I'm just finishing seeing one of my patients. They're building a house right here. And um, I just got done seeing one of my patients in this area. And so let me flip back over real quick. So I tried to get down to the water right down around the corner down there. And the, um, the tide is actually so high <laughs> that unless you're ready to go like surfing, then I couldn't get down to the beach like I thought because the tide is so high. And there's actually a restaurant right down the corner called the Marine Room here in La Jolla. And it is phenomenal. And what's really cool about this restaurant is when you're eating there, the, the water and the tide actually splashes up on the windows. And it's really, really crazy. And so apparently it's like high tide right now because I tried to get down to the water to share my gorgeous view with you and I wasn't able to do so. So I'm here up in the neighborhood instead and still wanted to share that with you anyways. So I wanted to, I just got done seeing a patient um, literally just right up the road. And so that's why I wanted to come down to the water for you. And we've been working a lot on his core strength. And what's really interesting is there's so many misconceptions about what it is to have a strong core, like what that really means and how you actually activate it properly and all the benefits that it can give you when you actually have the proper strength there. And um, let me know if you can hear me okay. Sometimes it gets windy. And so I wanna make sure that that's not interfering with the microphone too much. But so having a strong core is, so different than what people think. And it's not the fact of just being able to do a million sit-ups like a lot of people think. There's a lot of traffic going by on this little street here by the water. And so it's not that if you can just do a million sit-ups, it's really knowing how to do the proper things to activate your core first to learn how to activate it, how to wake it up and how to get the mind actually learning how to isolate the proper muscles then being able to, you know, build on the different exercises that you do and knowing how to target all the different muscles that are involved in your core, because it's definitely not just your abs. And so, um, so I wanted to share that with you because I was doing some core work with my patient just a few minutes ago. And he's like, I don't see how this is working my core. And we were just doing some really basic like sitting activities, even just starting there, learning how to activate all the areas of the core, which is all the center part of your body, but on all sides, not just your abs. And so he's like, I don't get how this is, is doing anything, how since I'm not doing a sit up, since I'm not doing anything strenuous, how is that actually activating my core properly and strengthening it? So we were kind of going through some of those things. And um, if you saw a video that I did a few days ago, um, I was giving you some of my easiest tips on how you can start activating your core right away. And so um, try to see if you can go find that video back on my feed about how to start being aware of your core and teaching your body how to wake up those deepest muscles possible because the stronger you can make your core internally and knowing how to activate it properly, you can carry that with you throughout the day. And it's not even to where you're like, you know, flexing really hard and walking around all day. It's not that it's learning how to tap into the muscles in a way that you can sustain that so that it's literally providing your body support all throughout the day. And um, so, and, and we were talking about that and I'll be sharing even more about that with you. And so the title of this video is your core can help you with that. It can help you with what? Basically anything you can think of that is a basic, basic function for your body, your core is, is key. It can help you with that. So your core can help you with balance. Your core can help you with better breathing, learning how to activate your diaphragm so that your lungs can actually take better breath, will bring better oxygenation into your body, into your muscles. So your core can help you with that. A stronger core supports your body all throughout the day so it can help you with better sleep. 
It can help you with proper lifting so you prevent injuries. Like there's so many basic activities that a strong core can help you with, but only if you know how to activate it properly. And so this doesn't mean that I only get a strong core when I go to the gym and I work out. No, you could actually not go to the gym at all and have a strong core if you know what to do. And if you know how to turn your core on basically to help you throughout the day. What's really interesting too is I, I treat so many patients that have um, back injuries and and it's like when they tell me about what happened, you know, I was getting something out of my car or I was just, I was so easily bending over to pick up, you know, a bag of trash at my house to go take the trash out or I was picking up a heavy load of laundry and then they get a, like a pretty serious back injury and it's like, oh my goodness, it's just because of having a weak core to begin with. So if we learn how to properly strengthen and activate our core, it literally will prevent future injuries that could happen specifically with your back too, but so many other benefits. And so yes, your core can help you with anything you can think of in your body and injury prevention, your core can be helping you with that. So one of the things that I'm putting together, because I think this topic is so important and I want to be able to help as many people as possible, is I'm putting together a four-week training called Four Weeks to a Stronger Core. And this is not like a boot camp style of like, all right, here's all the exercises that you need to be doing every day and let's get ripped. It's not that type of thing. It's actually like, how do we internally learn what our core properly is? how to activate it properly and then we build upon that and I teach you week by week in a building process in how to properly strengthen and then go into the gym knowing exactly what to do and how to use your core appropriately and how to strengthen it in all the different ways that it can be. But we have to start at the basic building blocks and sometimes the basics are the hardest but they're the most important. So if you want to know more about this four week, four weeks to a stronger core program that's uh, jumping off um, next week, I am doing another live stream later today in a private group for those that are interested to give you all the details. And that's going on later today, actually in just a few hours from now around 2.30. So in your Facebook search bar up at the top, go ahead and type in four weeks to a stronger core. That starts with the number four. Four weeks to a stronger core, you'll be taken to the private group, join in there, and then I'll be sharing a lot more details about the nitty gritty about what this four week program is going to be, and that kicks off next week. So if you wanna have a stronger core, you wanna know how to prevent injury and how to just have your body be healthier all throughout the day and supporting you, then you really need to get on board with your core, all right? So search for that group, come join me there, and I'll be sharing more details later today. All right, everybody, have a wonderful day. Signing off, this is Dr. Melody, your health and hope motivator. Have a great day, bye.